your champion. Follow the arrows to the waypoint. Good. Proceed to the I next waypoint. Got a doctor's note. Tap to attack the enemy. Sure, Switch back. Tap to attack. I'm trying Good. here. Proceed to the next. to try out. I'm crazy! Got a doctor's note. Doubt is the greatest enemy.
Nexus has been exposed. Destroy it now to claim victory. A true master is an eternal student. <laughs> Purchase items and greatly increase your power. Master Yi is an assassin that often goes to the solo lane or the jungle. Learn about the jungle in these advanced tutorials. I will show you the Push path. With allied minions to destroy the enemy turret. Of men. Fall before 
You are on the mirrored side of the map. The lanes are small. Welcome to a 
wild rift. Minions have spawned. Whatever, let's just start shooting.
song not lasting. Dominating. Attack the Nexus. 
are not laughing. Thank <laughs> you. 
Lions have spawned. Engage. Precisely. Under attack. As long as it takes. Retreat. Bottom turn. Under attack. You have slain an enemy. Killing spree. 
Sirane, sirane iyo. Welcome to the Target Lock Tutorial. First, let's review how the attack button works. Tap to attack. Tapping the attack button prioritizes attacking an enemy champion in range. Tap if there are multiple enemies in range. It prioritizes the one if you want to prioritize attacking minions or turrets. Tap the mini. Let's try it out. You, you can also twice. manually you select a target to lock onto. Drag the attack button to lock onto an enemy target. Target locked. Try locking onto the enemy Soraka. While locked onto a target, attacks and abilities will automatically pro Let's try tapping. Look, it automatically casts at your locked target. But how do you unlock from a target? You can either drag the attack button to the cancel button, or tap the minion or turret button to force a target swap. Let's try it out. Target unlocked. Now, let's try it in a real battle. Help the ally Garen defeat the enemy Trindamir and Soraka. Here you'll learn to use the target minion button and the target turret button. Tapping your attack button will prioritize enemy champions within range. Use the minion button to attack enemy minions. New mission. Attack the enemy minions. Good. You now know how to use the minion button. Use the turret button to prioritize enemy structures. New mission. Now, try it in a real match. 
victory. Susiganin boss mo ma. Sabi ko may paalam ako ng pangako yan ina ko lumob kaya. Magpagal na. Magpagal. Lakon na yung brand game pala. The first, activate the portrait lock setting. Success. Portrait lock is now enabled. Next, let's learn how to lock on to enemy targets. Tap on the enemy grate. You've successfully locked on to the enemy champion. Now your attacks will target the champion you've locked on to. Now your abilities will target the champion you've locked on to. Next, let's learn to cancel the lock on. Tap on the locked champion. Good. You've successfully cancelled the lock-on. Now defeat Ash using portrait lock. Good, please. Congratulations. Now try it in a real match. Victory! Here you'll learn about turrets. Turrets will prioritize the first enemy that enters their attack range. You will take heavy damage if you attack a turret by yourself. Let minions take damage for you. Your minions are taking the turret's fire. Now is the time to attack. When you go near a turret, you will see one of three colored circles on the ground. The colors indicate how the turret will behave. Free. The turret and enemy champion is coming to protect the turret. Turrets will protect champions on their team. New mission. I stand ready. Defeat the enemy. Excellent. Let's keep going and destroy the enemy turret. I understand you. Welcome. Here you'll learn about monsters. First, let's learn about the buff monsters. The blue sentinel and the red brambleback. The blue sentinel is commonly called the blue buff. After defeating the sentinel, champions gain a temporary buff to health and mana regeneration. In time, the blue sentinel evolves and its buff becomes even more powerful. The red brambleback is commonly called the red buff. After defeating the brambleback, follow the arrows and attack the blue sentinel. A true master is an eternal student. You've defeated the blue 
Sentinel and gain the Crest of Insight buff. Next, follow the arrows and attack the Red Brambleback. of Cinder's buff. Next, let's learn about the Rift Scuttler. Rift Scuttlers will spawn after the game begins, one in each half of the river. They will respawn shortly after being defeated. Follow the arrows and attack the Rift Scuttler. Drake's next. There are four types of elemental Drake. Fire, cloud, mountain, and ocean. They spawn in a random order. The first elemental Drake will spawn a few minutes into the game. A new Drake will appear a few minutes after one is defeated. Defeat an elemental drake to earn a buff for your team. Defeated drakes will not respawn. New mission. Once it's upgraded, Smite can be used against enemy champions. Choosing the red upgrade increases the damage Smite deals to enemy champions. Choosing the blue upgrade allows Smite to slow enemy champions. New mission. Congratulations! Now, try it in a real match! Victory! Go attack the enemy's turrets. My 
Drake's location using the Elemental Drake symbol on the minimap. An Elemental Drake will spawn here a few minutes into the game. Remember this location. The lane closest to the Elemental Drake is called the Dragon Lane. Follow the arrows and move to the Dragon Lane's outer turret. Do not confuse mercy for weakness. Watch out! An enemy champion is at the outer turret. New mission. Defeat Let's see how the close enemy. They can get.
Marcia.